Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. What's going on, Jonathan Mack? Nothing much. Just hanging out. Nice. That's awesome. Happy New Year, everybody. It's Josh Wilson. This is the Big Dog Podcast. We're back in the studio. It's the 5th of January. I'm fired up. I'm excited. Um, it was a nice little break. I don't know. We relaxed a whole lot, but you know, we had a good time. Got to see my godson. What do you do? You stay local? Yep. I was just working on music. There you go. It's really all I do nowadays. That's all right. That's all right. Mess around on TikTok a little bit. Uh, yeah. A whole lot of fun. That's cool. That's cool. What do you have? 100,000 plus on that one little video? Yeah. It's 100,000 views on a video that I just posted and like forgot about. And that was like in the first 24 hours, something like that. Yeah. That's I like so stupid. Because I turn off all my notifications for apps like that. Because right. it's like, I don't want to be focused on it. I just post it, forget it. Because yeah. it's really just usernames and comments behind <laughs> everything. It's like usernames with opinions. But right. when I see like 100,000, like that's the most amount of people that have ever heard my voice in one sitting. That's like awesome. one day. So that's cool. Cool. Well, that's 100,000 plus lucky people. Got a good voice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or that's my goal for 2022. Just toss compliments left and right to everybody I see. Yeah, just throw them out. Just throw them out. It's really not. <laughs> I, was about, I mean, it, there is some value in like just making other people's days sure, a little bit yeah. better. Yeah, you know, it's like, hey, man, nice beard. Yeah, but also if you go around complimenting everybody, it's like the compliments start to lose. A doesn't bit of it value. devalue yeah. the compliment itself? It's like, yeah. man, I felt real good about it, but then I heard Josh tell that person his beard was nice too. If he thinks his beard's nice and that beard is raggedy and trash, what does he really think of mine? Yeah, like what's the spectrum for nice beers? Uh, exactly. I don't know. Gray. I hope gray. <laughs> so look, man, this is going to be uh, a quick one. Just want to start the new year off right with everybody. Um, I'm actually hopping on a plane this afternoon. Excited. Head out to Dallas. Got our first fly-in Friday. I know it's Wednesday, but I'm going to fly in on Wednesday because we got a two-day uh, meet up with all the Apex executives in Dallas. So excited to be back with my family of choice and the crew. Um, it's been a minute since I've seen them and most of them. And so really excited to be out there and just learn and grow, invest in each other and and see what good stuff we can bring back and what good stuff I can share with with the family while we're there. I'll be back Friday night um, chilling with the family and then back out of here on Monday. But one thing that um, I started and we've talked about on the show before, um, I actually think we referenced it a good amount when we had old Josh Fowler on the show uh, early last year um, is Andy Frisella's program 75 hard. And I decided uh, I started on January 1st. I was going to start last week, um, but I was going to give an opportunity for some people to do it with me. And I didn't want to put them on the spot because it's not something you, you <laughs> I wanted to require a lot of our upper level people to do it. Um, but this is not something that you can require someone to do. It's also something that seems like you need a little bit of mental planning for it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think if I mentally planned for it, uh, I would psych myself out and not do it. So I've attempted this several times. I've completed it one time. I completed it in spring of 2020 when pandemic first hit off. Yeah, I was really freaking out. And I think I shared the story maybe on here before in a previous episode. And I was like, man, I don't know what's going to come. I don't know what, you know, is about to go down. Um, I really need to be on point. I need to be dialed in. Yeah, because at the beginning of the pandemic, they were just kind of like anybody with pre-existing conditions. And then the list of pre-existing conditions was literally just existing. Yeah, it was so. wild. It, it, it was wild. And so, you know, I ended up, it, I'd started following Andy maybe six months beforehand and had heard about this. Um a couple of my buddies through Apex had gone through the program or were going through the program. And so April, 2020, I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to do this. And it's a lot of people are like, Oh, well, you know, it's good. You lose some weight and things like that. It's not a weight loss thing. This is a mental program. It's a mental transformation program that that is it. Um, now, are there some side benefits to it that probably get a little healthier physically as well? A hundred percent. Um, but anyway, we kicked it off on Monday. I put it out to my team if anybody wanted to join me. And I've got six people um, that have stepped up to the challenge. We've got one who the cookies got her. She's already failed, uh, but she's she's starting back up. So that's awesome. You know, that's the thing. You can't think about it if you fail. You just, you just got to start over day one. Um, and the thing that's really cool about this, I just kind of want to share my experience from 2020 when I did it. 
and why I decided now uh, to do it again. So, yes, there were some physical changes uh, that benefited me, you know, in 2020 when I did it the first time, but they paled in comparison to um, the mindset shifts. Um, it's it's called 75 hard for a reason because it's hard. There's nothing about it that is convenient. There's nothing about it that is easy. There's nothing about it that you wake up first thing in the morning. You're like, yes, I'm doing this again today. Um, and that's kind of the damn point is because everything about our world, our lives is about ease and comfort. Yeah. In a lot of ways, like it's not difficult to find comfort. It's not difficult to take an easier path. It is not difficult to uh, change a certain circumstance to make something easier for yourself. Um, it's not difficult to find content of anything that you want to, to fill your mind with. Like everything is kind of designed to be quick and easy. Yeah. It's like fast food, really. It's just a fast right? food mentality. Yeah. And so, and that's, it's carried over to everything. This is the opposite of that. There's nothing quick and easy about any of it. Um, there's certain tasks that have to be done each day that you're required to do. Um, you know, and, and so I've got my app here, 75 hard app that you can, you can download and it'll track everything for you. Makes it pretty easy. And so the first thing is you got two workouts that you got to do each day, 45 minutes. It can be anything. Again, this isn't an exercise program or a weight loss program. So no one's telling you a certain diet you got to stick to. No one's telling you what workouts you have to do. You have to do two 45-minute workouts separately. They can't be 90-minute workout and counted as such. It's got to be two separate 45-minute workouts. Yeah, because it's not just about uh, working out for 90 minutes. It's about making yourself go work out for two 45-minute sessions. Two 45-minute sessions, one of which has to be outside. All right. So Tuesday, was it Tuesday? No, Monday, we had that little weather event come through. I still had my outside workout to do. So I got home around four, sent everybody home early because it was snowing like crazy here. And I know some people will be like, look, bro, you don't know what snow is. No, I don't know what snow is. I'm from the South. We don't really get snow like that. Now, an hour north of here, Richmond, they got freaking crushed. Jokers were on the interstate for like a day and a half. I had a Stuck. I had a friend driving up to Pittsburgh for Ben's last game at yeah. Heinz, and apparently on I ninety five they were trying to brush snow off on the, of their windshield. They broke a windshield wiper and had to drive all the way to Pittsburgh, like up through the turnpike, all that snow with one wiper blade. And that reminds me of college. That's wild. That's no good. Um, but I got home. Devin, she's awesome. She's so loyal. She's like, I'll walk with you, baby. So we go outside. It's like. 15 degree wind chill or whatever snowing and we're walking we got our 45 minute walk in so i could get it done i would have much rather cut on the fireplace just chilled watching espn or something like that but had to get out there and and do the deal so two workouts one of which has to be outside both workouts got to be 45 minutes each you got to take a progress picture each day 10 pages of reading all right so you got to read 10 pages a day drink a gallon of water Every single day, follow a diet. It can be whatever. So right? this is where it gets confusing for me because for yeah. someone who's really into like having a routine and structure, yep. Uh, that statement of any diet just kind of confuses me. You know, well, any diet for you. So you mm -hmm. need that structure. So you choose what works best for you. So for me, what I'm doing is I'm doing intermittent fasting. That's what I'm doing. And so, you know, basically I'm done eating at eight and I won't touch food again till noon. So noon to eight is my feeding time. After that, I'm chilling. It's like 16 on or 16 off, eight on. And that is the diet that I have chosen. Plus cutting out a bunch of crap and, and all those things during that time. I'm not just crushing 80 pounds of M&Ms like a normal Tuesday for me uh, between noon to eight. All right. You eat a fifth graders worth of M&Ms on look, a normal Tuesday. Look. The peanut butter ones. Shh. Freak, what what M and M's do you like? What are your favorite? Uh, I would say either the peanut butter ones or the pretzel ones are surprisingly good. I can't mess with the pretzel ones, but the peanut butter ones, I could like you ever. Well, when you're older, your kids will be like, "Hey, if you were on an island and you can only bring one thing," this is like Kiki's favorite dinner topic conversation. If you're on a stranded on an island, you can only bring one thing. What would it be? 
I'd probably choose peanut butter. <laughs> well, if it's only one thing, I can't bring a like my Jodeci records and my and my record player. You can't, so you messed up. But she don't like it when I push back on her answer. She'll create other rules so that you can end up bringing what she really wants to bring: hair straightener. I'm joking. She's never given that answer. That's just I'm I'm playing. I was baby. about I'm to sorry. say. <laughs> I'm sorry, but anyway, it you choose what works for you, right? Cause there isn't a one diet that fits for everybody, regardless of what the commercial at 2 AM on TV wants to tell you, you know, everybody's built different, wired different, and you find something that, that works for you and you can be structured because a lot of this very much is structure. So, but it's not, again, this isn't a weight loss program. It's just to add discipline, right? So, so make a decision, add discipline and move forward. And then, um, what was that last piece that I forgot? Oh, no cheat meals, no alcohol. So once you decide on a diet, there's no cheating on that thing and there's no alcohol. So, you know, it, the alcohol thing for, like, I enjoy alcohol. I like alcohol a lot. Um, I love wine. I love tequila. Those are like my two go-tos. And I got two fabulous bottles of tequila for Christmas. Uh, one from the staff and one from uh, my wife. And they are sitting beautifully in my dining room. And um, that's just where they're going to be and where they're going to be at. People are like, oh, man, how you're doing this? Your birthday's in January. You ain't going to drink on your birthday. You're not going to do it. No, it don't. It doesn't matter to me. I'll, I'll, in, I'll enjoy that at some time. And I'm still having a great time on my birthday. Um, I'm traveling every couple of weeks. I'm on the road traveling. Like, well, how do you do this? You travel. You should wait till you're done traveling. You should wait till then. And that's the part where the disconnect is you start coming up with all these excuses why you can't do it. And we've talked about this before, right? What's the one reason why you should, what's the one reason why you can. And for me, I have, I don't even call them goals. I have very large expectations for 2022. I know from doing this previously for me, I believe this is something that can help and work for everyone. But for me, I know that the mental clarity and focus um, and the discipline that, that I'll start to, to reinstill that maybe has been lacking the last year. Um, all of these things will make my objectives for 2022 more likely to happen because I'm more dialed in. I can't expect astronomical things to happen in my business, in my personal life. If I'm not willing to put forth astronomical effort yeah and take take astronomical steps and make astronomical sacrifices to do so the hardest thing for me of all this i like to read i read all the time that's no big deal the water drinking the water is no problem typically i'm done with my water by noon i've got the whole gallon in then i'm peeing all the rest of the day but you know it's just i'm not trying to drink a bunch of water at night because then i won't sleep so i try to get all my water in early and then I can just kind of maintain through the day. The no drinking thing, people think that would be a problem for me. It's not a problem for me. It, I'd stop drinking a couple times a year. My family history doesn't show uh, control with alcohol. Yeah, my history shows no control with alcohol. <laughs> so, right. So for me, you know, a couple times a year, I'll just stop just to kind of self-check and monitor and be like, okay, you're not like so-and-so. You're fine. It's going about your deal. Um, and so to stopping the alcohol isn't difficult for me. The water isn't difficult for me. Um, the discipline with the eating and getting in both workouts, that is the part that's, that's just tough. Um, and it should be, it should be tough, but you get through the first couple of weeks and then it becomes pretty routine. Yeah. Because what you're trying to do is get comfortable with uncomfortable things. Yep. 100%. Because once you do that, I mean, as somebody like I deal with a lot of uh, anxiety and just things approaching large things. And I, too, think 2022 is going to be a big yeah. year as well. But to get to those big things, I got to be comfortable with them happening. And to get to that point, yep. got to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Yeah, 100 percent. And I was talking to um, some people over the break and, you know, we were talking just about business and growth and and where we're at and. Oh, I was I was processing payroll uh for the the last payroll for the end of the year and it was crazy to me um 
<laughs> what what payroll has become for the trainers and, and admin team and stuff like that. And our, our bi-monthly payroll is bigger than years we used to have. And like overall, like sales, I mean, and that's crazy to me. And that's some people, I was talking to some friends about it. They're like, Oh my gosh, like that's so stressful. And that's, and it was stressful when we did 50,000 a year, you know, it, it is no more stressful than honestly, I'd probably say it was more stressful back then than it is now. Um, but you've got to, to your point, you have to get uncomfortable and get comfortable with it to be able to grow and move forward. Cause, and if you don't develop yourself mentally and get yourself there, um, it, you won't be willing to take action on opportunities that present themselves to you. I spilled water on me. Yeah. I wasn't going to mention it. Yeah. I appreciate it. These cameras catch it. I guarantee you that. I agree with you completely. Cause I mean, there is no number, right? There is no magical circumstance that you get to and you're like, cool, I'm comfortable here because once you're comfortable, you're done. I agree. Yeah, I agree. And, um, it, and I don't know that, that that's a bad thing. Like if somebody no. is like, this is where I need to be. This is it. Now that I'm at this number and I can maintain this number, I'm comfortable with the energy it will take me to maintain this number, if you will. And I can grow in other parts of my life that I want to focus on and be happy. Man, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's tremendous. For sure. But either way, you're going to need discipline, whether you're choosing either to grow way. or you're choosing to put focus in other your energy areas. is going to go somewhere. Exactly. Your energy has to go somewhere. Um, and it can go towards good stuff that are productive for you or towards bad things um, that hinder you and slow you down. Um, so for me, I just decided I didn't even talk to Devin about it. Um, I just told her it, she actually found out I was doing this from a post I put on the team page, inviting everybody to join me and and do this. So it, it it's just I'm excited about it. Um, I'm praying to have the discipline to, to see the, the, all the way through. Cause I know what the byproduct will be from doing that. And I, I want to do it. We made it. My last attempt was in the fall and I flaked out on day. I think it was 29 and I got the, the freaking second shot and it freaking put me on my ass. It just lit me up. Oh yeah. You remember what happened with me when I got my second shot, I was a mess. Yeah. I mean, it just sucked. Some people got it. It was no big deal. Some people got it. I mean, I had COVID, you know, year freaking, well, last year, almost a year ago. And it was nothing. Freaking give me this. And freaking, it was, I told Devin, no boosters, no nothing. I don't care. Like, I'm not doing that. I'm I mean, not doing that. It, it just was not worth it to me. I just think that we need to. All I'm going to say on it, because I got a lot of views, but I sure. think we should be uh, real attentive to the people who tell us what we need and what their interests, both both personally uh, and financially are. Yeah, oh yeah, sure, sure, sure. I think everybody should definitely take all yeah. those things into consideration. And just pay attention to who tells you what you need. <laughs> Always. Uh, you know, so I'm excited about about this process. Um, I'm excited to to move through this over the next couple months. Uh, with the team. I think those on the team that are doing it with me are, it's their first time and they're going to really be pushed and challenged. But I think what they come out is, is better human beings, uh, more disciplined, more focused, more efficient in what they're doing. And these are all things that for me, I can't see anyone not having. And so, and it's not like you get to day 75 and then you can just go back to whatever. You know, I probably maintained 30% of the disciplines I picked up when I did this the first time and actually was successful with it. And 30% of those disciplines and practices or thoughts and ideas or concepts, um, things I decided I wanted to change with my family or things I wanted to do with the business that are still in place are why we're at where we are now. But I think we would agree if I just, said, okay, these are the things I'm going to keep doing. I cannot have any reasonable expectation of achieving what I want for this year or two, three, five years from now if I keep doing the things that got me to where I am today. There is a certain level of maintenance, but there has to be a significant level of growth to get to where you're trying to go. Um, you can't just maintain because then nothing 
changes. Um, I'll be sitting here six months from now looking like this. I'll be sitting here, you know, six months from now with the things that uh, cause make me anxious and stressed, uh, still making me anxious and stressed because I haven't chosen to address these things and make changes that will allow me to propel forward. Right. And so, you know, for me with the show today, one, I wanted to to introduce to you guys 75 hard and what it's about. I would invite you to check out uh, the website, 75 hard.com. Um, you can get all the information that you want. Um, you can register to, to receive email with more information. You can download the 75 hard app. All of these things are free. Nothing costs anything yep and we can throw the link to 75 hard.com in yeah. the description we'll do that for sure um and you know let me know if you if you start on this path you know if you go on this journey and, and you give this a shot um tag that dog trainer you know on instagram email us at big dog podcast at josh wilson dot dog let us know that you're doing it and matter of fact if you do decide that you want to uh, go after 75 hard and and accomplish the t- the task shoot us an email or shoot us a dm and I'll send you a book, uh, 75 Hard uh, by Andy Frisella. I'll send you the book. It's a great book. You do not need the book by any means to do the program. You don't need to spend money on anything to do this program. Um, but the the book dives really deep into kind of the process and development, um, the process that Andy went through as he created the program and why. And so I find it helpful. You got to read anyway during the 75 days. So it's a good book to throw in there. So just shoot me a DM or email and I'll get a book out to you. So, and if you fail, if you f- it up, just start over right away. Don't be like, all right, well, I screwed up. Let me go grab some drinks. Let me go, you know, you know, order a pizza. Let me go do whatever. Just start over right away. Stuff's going to happen. When I screwed up that last time, I told you, I just, I physically, I couldn't do it in my mind. Physically, I couldn't do it. I probably could have done it, but I didn't. Um, And that's on me. You know, the time before that, I think I was on day 34 when I failed and I fell asleep without finishing my water. Everything else was done. I had a couple ounces of water to, to go and I just, I fell asleep and I woke up middle of the night and I was mad as hell because I screwed up. And I could have just started over right then and there, but I didn't. I was weak. I was soft. I used it as an excuse to just get on some behavior. That's what I did. I'm not doing that this time. I'm going to get this thing done, hell or high water. Got a lot of travel in it. It's not going to be convenient. I'll be walking around the airport later today, um, you know, and Friday night. I've already got planned out. I got a 90-minute layover. So one of my workouts is going to be 45 minutes walking around that damn, you know, airport. I'm going to get in the hotel gym before my meetings on Friday so I can get one done. And then I'm going to get the other in while I'm on the road. So you just got to figure out how to make it work. You've got more time than you think. You've got more flexibility than you think. You've just got to be strategic and intentional with it. So hit us up if you got questions about 75 hard. Happy New Year's to you guys. It's the fifth today. So I guess this is coming out on the sixth. Yep. You know, I hope you're a weekend to kick an ass in 2022. And we're going to see you next week. Love y'all.